all right so this video is about uh, uh, the changes uh, upcoming ones to our salesforce tool suite extension but let's see the salesforce environment first which is essentially a dev org with my login a system admin a side guest user and they both are running a blind polar page which are refreshes itself every few seconds via action polar additionally i have another login done via user called desi boy1 which is also running the same page now let's say as a developer i want to track this page across side guest user and even desi boy1 if required so let me go here and uh, before we dive further few minor cosmetic changes are the buttons here some guys are complaining that they are not pretty intuitive so we try to put them into tabs like this uh, so that you can read and understand what is happening most of the time you will be hitting this guy to see the debug logs so that should be uh, the default and uh, other changes some guys say that we want to see all logs as well so this is supported now if you see it is showing the logs from home site user abhinav gupta desi boy one and uh, all other users if they exist the interesting change which is uh, not there before was this plus button if you hit that you can basically manage your trace flags or basically debug log settings whatever way you understand it so these are the default settings so the icon here means that it's a for a user and these are for code files like triggers and classes etc so if uh, uh, we want we can get rid of some of these trace flags if you don't need them anymore apart from that if you want you can also update it for example i want to set it to fine and i can go ahead and update it and that's done if i refresh it again it should be saved which is reflected here interesting part here is not this thing it's uh, in adding new tabs and this reset functionality so let me tell you reset so reset is just like uh, a normal reset which creates a uh, 20 log requests for this user in a default mode if you still want to watch too much about it and you care what it is doing you can hit add tab here which will add this given user as a tab here so that you can better control what's going on so see as soon as it is added and you went there it refreshed it and it is showing all the new logs for the same you can do this same thing in the same fashion you can hit fetch logs to fetch more new logs add new li- not new log requests if you are running out of them or you can close it from here as well so that's a uh, one thing apart from that you can add new users also for example i want to trap the activity of this e boy one so uh, that's a user so if i hit that and hit this button so it will be added to the system if i did some mistake in debug flag settings so i can change it to fine i can update it from here and to make sure it is done it's uh, coming in most recent uh, or basically reverse order of expiration date so this is the recently changed trace flag apart from that you can also override uh, the trace flag settings for a class or trigger for example if i want to change some settings for a class called let's say change password controller uh, so i can go here hit that and it will come like this notice this icon is for code files and this human icon means it's for users so that's how uh, you can control that and same updating and those kind of things are supported here please note you can't add a class as a tab because that doesn't make sense because class settings are applied usually on the log level not at a given tab or user fashion that typically these user level stuff is doing so that's why it is not there so that's mostly i think it for now and uh, you can i think i covered the reset part already so these are the key changes we are testing more stability we are adding some more features for example if you add multiple tabs and come back again so they will be remembered when you once you come back so that you don't have to add them again and again so these kind of stuff is pending and we are doing more testing on it so hope uh, you will like these changes and looking forward to release it soon thanks a lot